Like, what, what is this? Is this? Yeah. Yeah. That's a relic. Oh, my yeah. gosh. What is that all about? All right. Let's show you what's going on. We start with this. A porcupine at a power plant here in Albuquerque today. Oh. That's a good-looking <laughs> That's little a porcupine. You know we had them here. Yes. Yes, we do. We do apparently yeah, have them here. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, you know, Dick, the rate hikes have been a real problem here, even for the porcupines. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get something done. All right, let's get an idea of what's going on here. We have a front that's pushing down into northeastern sections of the state tonight. That's going to keep the chance for storms going, and we're already seeing that cooler air start to flow its way in. Now, as far as storms go, not real impressive, but we do have some stretching along Union County and throughout the night tonight. It's possible down into east central sections we could see some as well. Here in the metro, we're cooling down nicely as that air starting to flow on in. 68 degrees in the metro. Southeast winds just three miles an hour right now. We'll get gustier later on. 50s and 60s across the north down to the south. 50s, 60s and some 70s at this point. Looking at this front, most of the cool air still off to our north and east, but it is starting to flow down across the eastern side of the state. So one thing to look for in the Albuquerque area for tonight will be those gusty east winds. Now, they're not going to be off the charts bad, but 15 to 25 mile an hour winds will be a possibility. Could see at the mouth of the canyon gusts to around 30 miles an hour. The good news is by Mid-morning tomorrow, these winds will be pretty much gone. Just a nice, cool day. And again, those gusty east winds could transport in a little bit in the way of moisture. But we do want to focus on the front because that is the key. It's going to touch off storms throughout the night tonight, northeast and down into east central sections of the state here. We get the east winds here in the metro. And yeah, it's possible we could see a stray storm here as well. And over the top of all this, a little weather disturbance skirting across the northeast as well and curling to our east could also touch off a few more storms. So it's not necessarily going to be really wet across the east, but at least we've got the shot at showers probably through mid morning tomorrow. Then beyond that high pressure sets back in again and we dry back out again. And we now have the extended outlook on what it looks like it will be like as far as the precip goes throughout the weekend and how bad, excuse me, throughout the winter, not the weekend, throughout the winter here. And it does not look good. 50% below average possible for the winter across the southern tier of the state. Here in the metro area and points just to the north, anywhere between 33 and 40% below average. That is a bad, bad setup. Not as bad as we had last winter, but still could be really difficult. Now the north, really what we're dealing with here are equal chances of being either below or above. And we're also looking at temperatures that are going to be far above average across the southeast, an area that badly needs a break. Looks like they won't get it this winter. Let's go region by region, which has changed a little bit. We go to southern Colorado with Durango. Temperatures for the most part in the 70s over the next couple of days with mostly sunny skies. Meanwhile, around areas of the northwest, temperatures here 70s and 80s, partly to mostly sunny, very nice over the next few days. Down in across the south and west, temperatures here in the 80s, cooling down to the 70s Friday into Saturday. Slight chance at a shower. Southeast, much cooler for tomorrow. You guys can be in the low 70s, chance at showers tonight and into tomorrow morning as the remnants of that front push their way on through. Meanwhile, across the north and east, same deal, showers tonight, much cooler for tomorrow. And then by tomorrow afternoon, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, things look very nice with a lot of sunshine. Northern mountains some spot rain possible in the valleys in through tomorrow morning and high mountain snow showers will be a possibility as well over into the East Mountains. Temperatures here for the most part in the 70s with a spot shower possible through tomorrow morning here in the metro. Some gusty winds overnight, a stray shower, a possibility into tomorrow morning. But then beyond tomorrow morning, forget about it. Skies clear out. Temperatures look very, very nice into the low 80s by the weekend. Good for us. Yep. Sports is next.